Welcome, so I'm going to show you how to write and publish a press release on these four sites plus 400 other news outlets. I'm going to go over step by step every single thing you need to do, both in writing and publishing, so let's get it going. Now, first things first, I'm going to show you the sites, right? This is the very first one called barchart.com. I'm going to show you how you can post your press release there. On this one as well, theglobeandmail.com, this one, AP News, and this one right here, uh, bazinga.com, as well as 400 plus other outlets. And no need to go to Fiverr and pay these guys hundreds of dollars. For example, this guy right here, it'll charge you $300 or $400 to post on these exact networks plus the other ones I'm going to show you how to do so. So no need to go on Fiverr and pay these guys. I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it. Not for free, but at a tenth of the cost. So let's break it down. Step one is, of course, writing your press release. Now, you're going to want to put a lot of focus onto this because you're not just going to write something that doesn't make any sense, right? The goal is to write something that gets itself ranked. And so if I open this up right here, I'm using this software to write the press release. This is a press release you're going to be putting out. As you see, right, it has a featured image, a table of contents, which won't actually be included, but doesn't really matter. An intro, right, in article images, links to our site, okay, it's very important. And of course, even an in-article video that's relevant to what the press release is about. And on here, a call to action to our um, our store because we are wanting to promote this business right here. Let's assume this is our business, right? We talk about gardening and we have, of course, a store that sells gardening supplies. And we want to go over how our brand is being a pioneer in YouTube because these guys, I'll show you right here. These guys have been doing great business with YouTube. If I search for their brand name on Google, on YouTube, excuse me, right? They have a very popular YouTube channel, which is driving a lot of revenue to their brand. And so this press release right here is how the brand, right? The gardening company taking over YouTube by storm. And it's basically a press release going over what they are, right? Their, their rise on YouTube, uh, the, their content strategy, etc., And of course, then a call to action to the business down below. So how do you write something like this? Well, you can use ChatGPT, but it won't give you the in-article images, it won't give you the links, internal and external, and the videos and all that. So I suggest you use uh, this app right here called Journalist AI. And so what we do is we go here to our campaigns, hit this one, and let's just do new SEO article. Now, let's again do the same thing. Let's do the exact same thing. So I can just show you how it looks like, right? And the title is just do this right here, Epic Gardening, the gardening company taking YouTube by storm, add keywords. Now this is gonna, go here into our inputs. And now we could just generate it like this, but I want to give it more context because the more context you give to the AI, the better the output is. And so here in the uh, content tab, I want to go over and say, uh, this is a press release for this company called Epic Gardening. Again, the more context you give it, this is a, a giving allowing me as a user to give more context to the AI so it knows what type of article it's going to be writing. Okay, now you can do a bunch more stuff like adding more YouTube videos, adding images, choosing how many images you want. If you don't want uh, AI images, you can use stock photos or your own custom brand images. If you do use AI images, you can customize the prompt right here. You can set up external linking, right? So for example, from the press release, linking out to a Wikipedia page or to any other authoritative source in your niche. You can set up internal linking, so linking, of course, to your domain, choosing how many links you want as well. Uh, setting up a structure, I recommend you add a call to action down here because if you add a call to action down here, right, what's gonna happen is that at the bottom of the press release, there's gonna be a dedicated section with a link back to your product or service. I would recommend disabling conclusions and FAQs and the size, I would keep it at medium because in a lot of these uh, press sites, this one, this one, this one, this one, the press releases tend to be short. So make them short and concise. So don't go for the very large, either go for the small or the medium because you're gonna be paying extra for these two, okay? And again, disable these two sections right here. Uh, again, you can play around with this. I would disable tables and quotes too, because some of these don't allow for that. Um, now, knowledge base right here, this is a very powerful feature, which basically allows you to have the article be tailored to your brand. So basically non-generic AI type of content. So what this does is it allows you to upload um, your, your website URL, documents, videos, audio, text, doesn't really matter, right? Any brand asset you have, so that the AI knows how to write content based off of your brand's tonality, your brand's mannerisms, and a bunch more stuff, making it so the AI content, the content, excuse me, isn't AI-ish. So this is very, very powerful if you have actually a brand. Um, I suggest you leave this on, the Connect Web, because it's gonna be giving you update info when it's writing it. Uh, content, you can choose a language, choose a target country, choose a tone of voice, and down here again, make sure you mention that it is, it is a press release. Um, 
you can generate the outline to just preview how it's going to look like and change things up if you don't like them, right? You just generate the outline. Again, if anything, when I've changed anything, I just change it right here. The details are quite simple. And there you go. Hit save changes. And then you're going to hit generate article down here, right? And it's going to generate exactly what it did before, what you see here. Again, this works for any niche, right? It's going to give you this exact thing right here. So now we're going to go out and publish it, okay? So the very first step is the writing, okay, which is all handled by this AI. You want to make sure you add images, both the featured image, the in-article images. You want to make sure you add internal links, links to your site. You want to make sure you add external links, links to other external authority sources. And of course, the videos, and then down here, a call to action to your brand. Pretty straightforward, okay? So that's the very first step in the writing. So you don't even need to go to these guys right here because some of them, like some of them, like you pay them, I don't know, $20 and they just do the writing. For example, this guy right here for $20. They do a writing. Why would you do this when you can use AI that knows about your brand, that will write in your brand's tone of voice, using your brand's mannerisms, add images, internal links, external links, videos, calls to actions. Why would you pay this guy $20? But you can just do it with AI in a couple of seconds, not two days, right, for a tenth of the price. And if you're on publishing, well, you're going to pay $200. So again, going back to this right here, step one is done. And so now we move on to step two, which is, of course, the publishing. Now, I want to show you step by step how you can get it published to over 400 plus news outlets, real ones, plus Bazinga, AP News, Bar Chart, and uh, The Globe and Mail. So all these very, very powerful sites. I'll show you how to get your press release to show up here next to all these uh, major news on this site, on this one as well, and on this one too, and of course, on this one too. Okay, as well as again, 400 plus other news outlets. And so what we're going to be using for that is this right here. So you go to abnewswire.com. I'll leave a link down below the description. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all, right? And you'll see here in the pricing section that this is way, way cheaper than any other price anyone's doing, right? And I can assure you all these guys selling press releases on here because I've bought some of them, right? And I've seen how their reporting looked like, like when they deliver an order, right? The reporting is the exact same reporting you get when you buy off of these guys. And so they basically what they're doing is they're buying it here and then upcharging you 2x, 5x, 10x. Okay, so literally most of these guys, what, what they do is they buy it from here. Okay, now what they do is they buy the white label packages, which are a bit more expensive, but when they deliver the white label packages, you cannot really tell where it comes from. So that's that's uh, that's there, that, that's that. Now, what you do here is you go for this right here. You go to, for the web distribution only. Now, if you want to do a bit more of a lo local-based distribution, right, you go for this one, right? Because this will do a local distribution for USA and Canada, for city-based uh, news, okay? This is regional distribution, nationwide distribution, and global distribution. But ideally, you just wanna go for these ones right here, which are the standard ones, and these will get you on the 400 plus news sites, plus AP News, Bazinga, The Global and Mail, Bar Chart, and a bunch more stuff, okay? Here's how a report looks like. So if I log in here into my accounts backend and show you a report, this is how it looks like. So the premium outlets, there you go, but all these ones right here, you can click and see how it looks like. Now, this was done a long time ago, so most of these won't really work. And that's the, the downside of press releases. This is still up, but most of them won't be up because press releases tend to be removed, at least the ones on quality sites. So even though you're going to be published here, right, know that a press release lasts for about 30 days. That's normal, right? They, they remove the old news. They, they, they want to make sure that their sites only have fresh news. So it's normal that they remove the news. So that's why you need to be doing press releases every single month or every two, three to three months. Okay. So again, this is what the report looks like. And industry news sites, there's, there's a bunch more stuff. Now, for this one, I didn't do Bazinga and all those ones, but I did all these. Okay. So there we go. This is the exact report, right, that you'll get if you pay anyone here on Fiverr to do it for you. You just pay a ton more. So what you do is you purchase this package right here for $400, which gives you 20 distributions, okay? And that's around $40 per distribution, which is cheaper than this right here. So it's half the price. If you just want to do one, you can do this one. Or if you want to pay half the price, just pay a bit more upfront, and then you have credit to use later down the line. And that's it. You click order now. You'll be redirected to your dashboard right here, where you can then go and add a press release, right? I don't have any credits, so I cannot add it anymore. But once you're here, you're going to be able to set your title, set your description, of course, go in here and paste in here, actually copy your article right here, and then paste it into the editor. It's an HTML editor, so you'll be able to just copy in the images, copy the videos, copy the links, so don't worry about it. And then you just submit the release, okay? And based off of whichever package you bought, right, you'll be submitted to whichever outlets you bought, right? 
for this one, right, will be submitted to the four hundred ones that I mentioned before, AP News, Bazinga, The Global Mail, and Bar Chart. So all these ones right here, you see here, plus all these other ones which I showed you before. So if we go here to reports again, all these ones right here, all these 400 plus ones right here, it'll be published to all of these right here, okay? Fox 40, NCN, right, whatever, there are a bunch more, okay? So that's step two. Don't overpay for stuff here on Fiverr because all these guys are doing the exact same thing that I just thought you want to do for a fraction of the price, okay? So there you go. For the writing, don't need to pay $20 and wait two days. You can just do it with AI. Way better with images, links, videos, and a bunch more stuff. And for publishing, why, why do you pay $200 and you can just pay 80 right? Or actually 40 whichever you prefer, right? If you do, if you buy some credit, you get it for 40 If you just do a single one, you pay 80 right? But again, still way cheaper. So now moving on to step number three, which is um, indexing. Now, most of these won't actually need indexing because they're posted on trustworthy sources, so it'll just, it'll just index naturally, okay? But in case you need indexing, well, this is what I use. I use this tool called Index Me Now. They're great. They're a bit black hat, but they're great. So this is the tool I use. Pretty straightforward. No need for me to um, dial this a bit more. Like it's just research for just add the URLs there and it'll be submitted for indexing. That being said, right, you can check the, the index page right here. So if we open this up, it'll give us all the pages from all these 400 outlets that are indexed. And if you see some that aren't, well, you can just use the index me now software that I just showed you before. Okay. Now, fourth is, of course, diversifying with other backlinks because a press release is a backlink, right? You're getting all these to be pointed out to your main site. Okay. And these give you brand mentions, but it also give you a backlink because these news will have links to your site. Now, please go watch this video right here, which I'll link down below in the description, teaching you how to diversify our backlinks with both niche edits and guest posts, which are two very powerful types of backlinks, which are cheaper than press releases. And not that that matters, but the only thing that matters here is that you're gonna, you need to diversify your link portfolio. So you don't just want to be building press releases to rank on Google. You're going to be building press releases, niche edits, guest posts, and all these other links that I teach you how to build in this other video. I'll leave links for these two videos down below in the description, so please go watch them because you need to diversify your backlink portfolio. And that's pretty much it. So to recap, to get posted on all these sites right here, these very authoritative sites with real traffic, with real news, to get your news to be posted next to these big boys on all these sites, plus for other other news outlets, just like the ones that I showed you here, well, First things first, use Journalist AI to write the press release, right? Make sure you prompt the AI to write something that's decent, okay? With the featured image, with the in-article images, with the internal links, external links, with the videos. Make sure that you upload the knowledge base so the content is tailored to your brand, right? To your own brand's tone of voice, your brand's mannerisms, so that the content isn't AI-generated or doesn't sound too AI-ish, okay? Use Journalist AI for this. This tool does a bunch more stuff. You can even syndicate it to social media if you like, but I won't cover this right now. I do want to cover just one last thing. If there's something that you don't like, because you might not necessarily like the AI output, you go here and you can edit this with AI. Okay, so let's say, for example, you feel like there's a couple of links you're missing. So what you do is you select this and say, okay, add links. And then the AI will skim through the article and find on this paragraph you just selected the best place to add a couple of links to, and as well as suggesting you the anchor text. And with just a few clicks, we just added a few links here. Okay, yes, you can do all this manually, but what we do, you can just use AI to do it for you with a tenth of the speed, okay? Uh, for your example here, uh, let's say you don't necessarily like this image, you can say uh, add a dog, and the AI will add a dog, keeping into account the same context of the article and the existing image as a whole. So you can change things around if, of course, you use AI images. There you go. Let's say, for example, you feel like maybe on your press release, uh, a certain section here would be would look a bit more uh, interesting if you make it longer, so you can hit make it longer, and the AI will expand on this section. You can either accept or discard, Let's say, for example, you think this is a bit, um, you don't necessarily like this too much. You can add a custom prompt saying, for example, write this more tailored to beginner gardeners, okay? Whichever prompt you want to use, you can add any custom prompt right here. You can also sprinkle in your keywords, so if for some reason you feel like the ad hasn't written or hasn't included as many keywords about a brand mention, about your products as you want it, you can just say, okay, uh, product name or brand name or... Um, gardening tips, whichever one, whichever keywords you want to include, you just tell it to the AI and the AI will include them. And you can select not just a paragraph, you can select multiple paragraphs if you'd like, okay? You can also select text and say, maybe you think that this will be better explained or that you think your users would be read this in an easier way if it was a list. You can just say make a list and the AI will make a list out of the paragraph. You can do the same thing for tables, right? There you go, you can discard this. Or you can make it longer, make it shorter. You can simplify it. So in case you don't like the AI's output, you can also use AI to edit the output, and then of course you can just copy this and paste it into the um, 
press release thingy right here and have it published this new AI edited content you wrote. So yeah, that's it. I'll leave links for all this stuff down below in the description. Don't worry. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want me to do this whole process for you, the whole press release thing for you, the writing and the distribution, I can do this all for you. Just go to tragedylines.com, click down here on purchase backlinks. And for any order of five or more backlinks, I'll include a press release for free. The writing, the distribution, I'll handle all this complex stuff for you. Okay, so on any order of five or 10 backlinks or five or plus, I'll include a free press release writing and distribution to all these major networks, right? All these ones right here, your news piece will appear next to these guys, plus the other 400 plus news outlets. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, check the links down in the description and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.